Hello and welcome. I'm Glenn Trobe, Technical Sales and Marketing Specialist for Transco. In 2007, General Motors introduced the 6T40 for the 2008 model year, and like any new transmission, it had its share of problems and growing pains. So in 2012, General Motors did a major revision, and now they call it a Generation 2 6T40. In 2015, they made more major revisions, and they call it a Generation 3. The Generation 3 pump is very easy to identify. The Generation 3 pump is chain driven and the converter drives a sprocket which then drives the chain which drives a binary vein type pump. Generation 1 and 2 pumps look quite similar to each other. These are gear driven pumps driven by the torque converter hub, but the pressure regulator valve is different between Generation 1 and 2. The Generation 1 pressure regulator valve measures 354 thousandths on the large end furthest away from the spring. Generation 2 pressure regular valve measures 341 thousandths on the end. On the Tecums, Generation 1 had pressure switches, but they were hard to see. You have to remove this plate and you'll see that there are pressure switches located in here. The Generation 2 has no pressure switches underneath the plate. Another easy way to ID these is by looking at the TCM itself. On the TCM, there is a barcode with a number underneath. If the eighth digit is a number zero through nine, this is a generation one Tecum. If it is a letter, A, B, C, or D, it is a generation two Tecum. And if it's the letter G, it is generation three. The generation one and two valve bodies look the same. The check ball placement is different though, but the easiest way to identify them is to look on the sides. Generation one has no valve here. Generation 2 and 3, they've added a low reverse 456 boost valve. Thank you for watching. I'm Glenn Trobe.